Hi guys and welcome to another every card on Ultimate Team by myself, Bateson87. Today we've only done one this weekend, mainly because Legend Bremer was released yesterday uh, and that got my videos a bit all over the place. So today we are finishing off on a Sunday with Wesley Schneider. If you have missed any of the videos this weekend, including, including today's earlier video against Rossi, the first leg of the uh, final of uh, Fatal, make sure you go and check that out as well. And also the best possible turkey team available to you on FIFA 15. So if you guys do want any MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, make sure you check out G2A.com. Their link is down below in the description. If you use discount code BA7 to get a bit of a discount off. And if we can now hit over 4,000 likes and subscribe, if you're not subscribed already, that'd be absolutely awesome. So, with that said, we are looking at one of the uh, legends of Ultimate Team and one of the best players around, which I've been enjoying watching uh, through my childhood and teenage years, is Wesley Schneider. So, let's go and have a look at his non informed cards all the way from FIFA 09 to FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. So, these are Ari. His cards, his uh, regular gold cards in FIFA 09, he started with an 86 for Real Madrid before moving on into FIFA 10 with Inter Milan, going down to an 81. Back up to 86 in FIFA 11, 88 in FIFA 12, and he was absolutely ridiculous in them Serie A teams. Uh, but it was a shame that El Sharari was cam, and a lot of people decided to put him in there instead. In FIFA 13, he had two 87 rated cards, one for Inter Milan, one for Galatasaray, and then he's still got two Galatasaray cards as well. FIFA 14 and FIFA for 15, both of them 84 rated. So he's kept the same hairstyle. I like his hairstyle, it looks quite nice. Don't know why I like it, I just really do like it. Um, and with that said, guys, that is regular gold card. So let's go and have a look at his informed version. So these are his informed versions. In FIFA 10, he had an 87 rated, which was a jump up, actually. If I go back and have a look, yeah, he jumped up from 81 all the way to an 87 in FIFA 10. That is absolutely insane. And uh, obviously in FIFA 11, he had an 88 rated card, but he did have one higher rated card in view, guys. Uh, haven't watched all the video yet, you won't know what it is. In FIFA 13, he had three informed cards, 85, 86 and 88 and then in um, well in FIFA 30, FIFA 14 sorry, he had an 85 and an 86 rated. Now that 85 rated uh, left wing card was annoying that it got released because I was looking forward to the fact of him getting a central card and now he actually has a central card as well so I might have a play of him, hopefully if I can get him off the transfer market, might do a squad builder sometime this week with him as well because uh, Schneider's free kicks are absolutely ridiculous his dribbling's really high and his shooting is high as well as well as passing wow he is actually a ridiculous card he always has been a really good card in ultimate team and that's why we are doing the every card in ultimate team now if you guys want to see any more players done in the future make sure you do leave a comment down below uh, with your favorite player and i'll aim to do them in the next couple of weeks so let's go and have a look at his team of the year card so this is his team of the year card an 89 rated cam card for inter milan now this team of the year in fifa 11 was ridiculous and i will show you on the screen in a moment it featured a lot of players who have never had a team of the year since and uh, Wesley Snyder is one of them as well as Mycon as well but look at the statistics on it 80, uh, 93 shoot uh, no 93 passing 88 shooting 90 dribbling and also 84 pace he would have been absolutely ridiculous but I never did manage to get my hands on a team of the year player um, from FIFA 11 I don't even remember playing with any in forms actually uh, so I did miss out quite a lot so if you guys have played with any of Wesley Schneider's cards let me know which one you thought was the best and let's go and have a look. Well, on the screen now, you're currently seeing the team of the year he was in as well. And uh, it was a ridiculous team of the year. If the servers were back up, I would love to play on them um, with them type of players. But we can't, unfortunately. So let's go and have a look at his special cards. So these are the only two special cards he's had. An 87 rated Cam, which was a man of the match for the World Cup uh, in FIFA 13, I think it was. No, FIFA 14 that card was. Um, and then also his World Cup card, which got all the way up to an 88 rated and even if you look at his informs he had an 88 rated cam last year as well so will he ever play in a european competition or world cup competition for holland again maybe some of you guys will know that more than likely i don't know that and uh, he probably will be coming to the, towards the tail end of his career obviously out in turkey at the moment will he return back to europe who knows so let's go and have a look at all his cards as a collective and these are them all from an 86 rated real madrid player all, all the way up to actually an 88 rated cam for Inter Milan his team of the year was his highest rated in form version which was 89 as well um, that was in FIFA 11 
And then so far this FIFA, he has got an 86 rated uh, cam version as well. So hopefully I can do a squad builder with him earlier on in the week and... Uh, Hopefully he's cheap. I don't, uh, is he cheap? Who knows? We'll find out anyway. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, drop a like, rate, and subscribe if you are not subscribed. And also leave comments down below of uh, which players I should be doing in the future and check out the playlist of all the ones I've done in the past. So, until next time, guys, see you all later. Have a very, very nice rest of your day.